living with a 8-inch uh, schmidt cassegrain telescope <laughs> and in a flat. How you do that? Is it possible to have an 8-inch? I think <laughs> my wife is laughing. <laughs> And uh, okay, this video shows you how I'm, uh, I'm doing it. I think I can do it even with a 10 inch or 12 inch. <laughs> <laughs> Schmidt Cassegrains are short, <laughs> but they're heavy. If you want to put a tripod and every time remove the tripod, put it in the yard, then uh, take the uh, yeah, take the optical part of it and the fork mount. You. I have to do a lot of physical activity. When we're living in a flat, you have a table and you have a windowsill. And you lift it from here on the windowsill. You don't need to lift anything more than, you know, a few feet, probably one foot, yeah? And that's it. The only limitation is that, I'll show you, um, the window. I have view toward the south, up to that tree. Uh, at the moment, planet uh, Jupiter is there in the daylight. Saturn is somewhere around there. I cannot see it now. But they come from here uh, uh, because they're very low. They just disappear between the leaves here. So I have around one and a half hour, two hours to observe anything I want. Of course, I can observe here and I can photograph this way. And observe this way until that I reach this window. So it's kind of like a meridian observatory, but better than nothing. In the lack of luxury of having a backyard, this is what I came to. Of course, you cannot use a Dobsonian here. Schmidt Cassegrains are perfect for this. So this is my mid ETX. Hmm. The only problem is that every time we open the window, we lose a lot of heat. But the moment the weather is alright. <laughs>